Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Boys Book Club. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the workbooks or the art curriculum that I put together that we're going to be using for this homeschool year of 2021 to 2022. So the first book that I'm going to show you that we're going to be using is this Vincent's Starry Night and Other Stories, A Children's History of Art. I did a flip through video of this video, um, I think last year, but we didn't really use it. So I decided that we're going to be using it for our art history read aloud. So in here you can see um, the artist that's inside this book. And here is the content of the book. What I like about it is the stories are not so long. I think they're around two to three pages long and has beautiful illustrations inside as well. And I think it would be a perfect um, short read allows before we start our um, art, like our art workbook. So what I'm planning to do is have um, one story to read with the boys and then have a little bit of discussion and then after that we would continue with our art workbooks i did go through some of the stories already and i just read it for myself i've always been um interested in art since i was young so i just was browsing through it and i like how the stories are very engaging and i think my kids are going to like it too so I'm just going to do a short flip through of the book so just you can see the content inside. That you, I want you to see the illustration, how beautiful they are, and then how the short the stories are. So I think it's very interesting. This one, I love the Athens drawing. I think it's very interesting. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be one of our main book for our history um, of art read aloud so the next art workbook that i'm going to be showing you is for my kindergartner no he's he's in first grade already my gosh i can't believe he's in first grade anyway um this is by marion marion i'm sorry i cannot pronounce her last name properly so i don't want to say because i might make a mistake so as you can see the books are very thick it has around i think 200 plus pages um in a sketchbook size and it's a perfect to use for drawing and being creative as well and then here are the contents here are the drawing color shapes paint paper printing and pattern drawing activities and i like how the art materials are hand drawn and also, I think she also, this is also her handwriting. I think it's very cool that she did it this way. So I'm going to be showing you first the drawing. So here is the, for the pencils. And then what your child is going to do. Um, so what activities uh, there is here inside. As you can see. Here is drawing on lines and then filling pages. And here are, these are the example. Oh, I like this one, the practicing how to shading using your pencils. And so there's a lot of different activities that you can do just with your pencil. So I like that you're going to go through different kinds of techniques with just one like tool which is the pencil and then in here is the colors like the primary colors so you're gonna learn that from this book too and then how to combine colors and I think it's very very cool that there's a lot of art techniques that your child can learn in just this one book so I'm just going to do a quick flip through of the book so you can see what other activities and what other um, things your child can learn inside. So I'm very excited to do this one with my youngest one, who is in first grade this year. So I just totally forgot that he's in first grade already. And I'm still thinking he's in kindergarten, you know? You just can't believe that they're just growing. So anyway, so 
here you are. So I think it's very, I think it's a very engaging book and I really like it. So. So the next book I'm going to show you is again from Marion Deschars. I hope I said her name right. Um, This is Let's Make Some Great art and animals although the pages is very it's very few compared to the other book that i showed you it is still a great art resource to have in your home especially if your child loves animals again the first um first few pages you're going to see the art materials that you're going to be needed i need needing for this um workbook so here are the samples of the art activities that you can do with your child. I like that you, there's um, a simple instruction of what you can do in here. Like for example, this activity, you need to have two papers and something like that. So I also like how it's just a very simple book. It's just like grab and like grab it and just you, your child can do it by themselves and the instructions are simple. It's easy to read and it's easy to understand. So I think that is also one thing that I like about it. So I think it's a good book, especially for the younger children to do for art activities. And the paper is actually really thick, so you can also draw on it and paint on it. So um, here's another book that I got from my first grader. Um, it's actually the first book that we're going to do when we start our homeschool. It's Let's Make Some Great Art Colors. I think it's very important to learn um, colors when you're like teaching art. So here's what's inside. It has beautiful illustrations from the get-go, as you can see. And then, um, this book belongs to, have your child write their name on it. And then like with the other previous books, you have the list of the art materials that you would need for this workbook. And then the color wheel, and I, it's very important to learn that one i think and then you can actually paint on it because the papers are very very thick it's like an awful paper and then here they're going to learn about the color red and then what um how they can use it and how they can blend it uh here are like the com com complementary colors and then what are the complementary colors and then they're going to have some activities with it like in here they're going to make their own and then when they blend orange so it's a very uh it has a lot of activities that just involves color itself so i really like that so we're gonna go through this book first before we do the art playbook so i want him to finish this book first and just learn more about colors so the next book I'm going to show you is for my fourth grade. This is Draw, Paint, Print, Like the Great Artist. Again, it is by the same author. I just love all her books. What I like about this book, I think it makes learning about art and the different artists fun. Um, because this book has around 30 artists inside. Then I think, and again, you can see the list of art materials that you would be needed for this workbook and i think most of, we already have most of them so i don't need to buy like new ones and also this book has around 30 great artists and it will encourage your child to try out their techniques and the art styles from their different artworks so i think that's really cool like here you can see their um the instructions aren't very hard to follow it's easy to read and then the, it's easy to find the materials and then most of the activities is you can do in the workbook you don't need to like another paper but if you don't want to work on the workbooks and you just want to preserve it as a like for studying then you can have your child doing it in another um a pa paper or another sketchbook but we would be probably be using this one we would probably be drawing here because the papers are actually really thick so we don't need it to buy another sketchbook so yeah so here are the sample of the pages and some of the artists that you can see inside 
so it's i think it's the book is very well made and well written as well you know it can be used for adults as well because you know art has no limitations so everyone can be an artist so i think this book really brings out everybody's creative side so i really like it so i'm just going to do a quick flip through of the book so you can see the other activities and the artist inside and here at the back of the book you can see some of the artists here yeah, like you can have your child read it example they're doing one artist from this book and you can have your child read the facts about the artist at the back the next workbook I'm going to show you is again for my fourth grader. This is Let's Make Some Great Art by the same artist, Marion Deschars. I hope I said your name right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. And, you know, like the other book, it has a lot of pages. I think it has around 200 pages. It has a lot of drawing and painting and sticking and cutting. I think it just brings out the creativeness and the imagination of the child. And again, in here you will see the art materials that you would be needing for this book. And here, here is a sample on page for Van Gogh. And then the activities that your child is going to do. Um, after reading a few facts about Van Gogh and what I like about it is, is that it has a lot of inspired masterpieces from different artists and I think there are around 12 in this book like Van Gogh and Pablo Picasso and so on so like other books the instructions are easy to follow and easy to understand so I think your child can do this book alone if ever because it's just very easy to understand. So I like how um, there there is also like um, advices and how you can change the project and to develop more artistic skills for your child. So it has a lot of information and art techniques that you you yourself can learn and then or and learn together with your child so i really highly recommend this books if ever you are going to start art in your homeschool curriculum so here are the books that we're going to be using for this homeschool year and i hope that you like my video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and thank you for watching